NASA has been operating self-driving rovers on Mars since 2004. The longest single drive record was set way back in 2005. This week, Perseverance finally beat that record and then beat its new record the next day. On this episode of Mars Guy, we last left Perseverance shaking out some pesky pebbles and throwing away a precious core sample. Now it's proving to be better than that, inspired by the Olympics maybe. It started by coring a new sample to replace the one that it had dumped for reasons I explained in the previous episode. This is a record three holes in a single rock and perhaps an origin story for a certain Toy Story character. Just a few saws later, Perseverance was following its tracks back out of the terrain known by the Navajo word sita, meaning amongst the sand, which it entered nearly five months ago. It's time to start the long journey to the ancient delta deposit, which is the best place to look for evidence of fossilized microbial life. Sita is too treacherous to drive through to get to the delta, so Perseverance has to drive around it. This means going back using the route it originally took to get to the science targets inside. Mars rovers are not driven with a joystick by an operator on Earth because of the 10 minute or more delay for radio signals to travel between the two planets. For long drives, they have to rely on a system of sensors and algorithms known as autonav. Upgrades from previous rovers mean that Perseverance can drive farther and faster. But until now, no rover, including Perseverance, had driven farther in a single saw than Opportunity in Meridiani Planum. The 220 meter record drive, about 720 feet, back in March of 2005 was impressive. Here's Mars Guy for Scale to show the much narrower tracks compared to Perseverance. But key to this feat was the very benign terrain, just some low sand ripples that Opportunity could drive straight over, and not a single rock to be seen. Compare that to the rocky terrain that Perseverance has to navigate. Here you can see how it decided not to tangle with these rocks and had to do some maneuvering to avoid them, even after an arcing turn from farther back. Despite these obstacles, Perseverance managed to pull off a 238 meter drive, about 781 feet, on Sol 340, besting Opportunity's record by about 18 meters. Here you can see some more of the twists and turns that it had to make, and its vaguely triumphant finish in the late afternoon sunlight. Based on the times of the first and last drive images, it took just over two and a half hours to cover 238 meters, fast for a self-driving rover on another planet, but an astronaut could have done it in just a few minutes. And as if to show that this record drive was no fluke, the very next Sol, Perseverance drove 240 meters, adding two meters to its previous record. Here it is weaving around some outcrops on the path back into Sita. It's now arrived at an interesting location that it visited previously, but didn't take time to sample. You can still see the tracks from when it was here almost six months ago. Sampling may be in the works this time around. <laughs>